Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Digital Learning Coach at Gravely Hill Middle School in Eflin, North Carolina. This video is about working with a great website called Canva. So to go to Canva, we just go to canva.com. If you notice, it's populating already. And then for new students, they should always sign up with Google. I, I love sign in or sign up with Google. So I've already done that. So let's log in with Google. And here we go. And as you can see, I use Canva a lot, a whole lot. I really, really like Canva. Now, when you start with Canva, it's going to ask you for your dimensions. If you want to create a design, in fact, we could click right there. It's now going to say, what dimensions would you like? If you know your dimensions really well, oh, I'm making a poster, oh, I'm doing this, then use custom dimensions. And if you notice, it gives you pixels, millimeters, and inches. Let's get out of that. Or Let's back, get back to creative design. However, they have a lot of templates and sizes ready to go. One of my favorites is if we go down here, YouTube thumbnails. I love that because they make perfect YouTube thumbnails. For this one, we're going to work on a, on a student assignment that a, stu a teacher at my school is giving. It's called presentation. She wants them in presentation. And so let's go to this one here, presentation. And so it makes a new blank presentation template. Few things, I could use one of these. So if I click on this and I can then make that my, my background, I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to show you that it has these templates ready to go. I'm gonna go with a nice blank, clean template. So I'll hit undo. By the way, there's your name. So let's make that six word memoir which is what the assignment is for our students and so let's go with a nice blank slate there if we want to insert text let's insert the text right here i like to start off big so let's start with a nice big heading there that heading it's only 42 size but i could go up to say 88 or whatever i need to if i need to type in there i can change it i can also change my font so let me highlight all of that and change my font this one might be a tough one to, uh, maybe we'll try. that looks more like a wedding invitation, Allura. There's a lot, a lot of great fonts. If you notice in here, as you can see, a lot of good ones. Uh, what's be a good one? Um, let me go with Leninda Shadow for now. I don't like that one. So I'll go with Peace Sands for now. But if I want to try to get it a little fancier, I could always do this stuff too. You see, there's these little things here. You see, that's really cool. In fact, I might, well, that's an all caps one, so I probably won't use that one. If I want to get rid of something, I get rid of it like that with the trash can. And let me real quick type out and, and choose a font already. And we will go with Siphon Outline. And I'm going to do a six-word memoir, and I will say not too late there's still time i like that one because i think in life things are never too late right um, you can always overcome failure and get better at something so just something to show you real quick i could if i want to tilt that a little bit which i kind of like you see that i can tilt it i could even make it upside down i won't do that i might slant it up that way make it nice and positive um, let's see some other things I can do here. I can change my color. And so I'll make that like a blue color real quick. And then I can also add in shapes and images. So let me, let's look at images real quick. So if I want something to do with time, I hit time. And then that one is free. So I might put that one in. That one kind of says, no, there, you can run out of time. But let's try this one. I like this one here. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Again, I hit the garbage. I take this one and let me make it a little bit bigger. I can make it bigger or smaller. And another thing I can do with that is I could play with its transparency. So I could make it lighter or I can make it full on. I can change its color. So I'll make that the same blue that I made the other one. Oh, I like that. It's looking pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, that's what I can do with those. And again, there'll be more ones, but a lot of these are paid. You see, this one's free. I like this one too. That one comes with two colors, which is nice. Again, and then if you notice that's blocking out that, I don't want it to block out that. So if I click on it and then I hit arrange, I can send it back. 
and there it goes. Now I'm grabbing the wrong thing. I might make that match up with that color and click on that again. And I will, you know what, let's get rid of it. I, I think this actually looks out, looks nice. Now let's add some shapes. So I can add a shape this way. I could play with the background too. You see, I could change the color of the background. Like I could make it like this or I can make it that. That's kind of nice. I can also make it a pattern, which I'm not a big fan of there. So let's make the background. That would make it all invisible. We don't want that. That one's kind of cool. Make it that color, make it like a yellow. I like that yellow color, okay. And then if I add in an element, I can add in all sorts of things here, illustrations, but I'm gonna go with the shape real quick and watch what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna use a a black rectangle. It's actually starting off as a square, but I'm gonna make it a rectangle. And you notice I get these little grid lines to tell me when I'm right in the right place. I blocked it out, but if you see, I play with the transparency and now I kind of do that, but I can also change that color, make it like a red. And you see what that does, it's kind of crazy. Anyway, that's my six word memoir. That's doing it using Canva. I hope you enjoyed that. Comment below or tweet me at EdTechTom to discuss more.